All right, guys, back at my hotel room after day one, Daytona Breeders Expo. Got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it's beautiful out here. If you haven't been out here, you should come check it out. Um, let me show you some of the stuff that I got. I might have went a little bit overboard, but I got a lot of breeding projects coming up. So, um, you know, I got like a kid in a candy store. I saw so much and uh, I couldn't help myself. So, this is a Arizona Mountain King Snake. He's really calm. I'm surprised how calm he is. And he's really beautiful. You know, I go to a lot of breeders expos and reptile shows. And, you know, this particular snake, I usually don't see it. So, I had to grab it. So now I just need a female for this one because I will be breeding these. And you can see he's really calm. Now I got a pair of gray band king snakes. This is the male. They're all pretty calm. And this is the female. I got a pretty good deal on these. Can't wait for them to get a little size. Start breeding those. I love gray banded king snakes. And again, those you usually don't see those either. I got them from Mr. Reptiles. You can check them out. You can see his information. Um, Real nice guy. From GNC Hog Noses. This is my first hog nose. It's a Xanthic. Let's see, he's hiding under there somewhere. Let's see if we can uh let's see if we can find him. There he is. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's got like a silver look to him. It's really cool. My girlfriend actually picked them out. First hog nose. And you should come check these guys out. They're really nice people. They give you some good deals. Now, Lee, Lee Abbott is where I like to get all my corn snakes from. And uh, actually, this one is a different kind of one. Yeah, he, he's a really knowledgeable guy. One of the, the most knowledgeable people I've met on uh, Okatees and King Snakes, Corn Snakes. Now, these two, they're a pair, male and female, 100% head for Blue Palmetto. That's a pure white Okatee Corn Snake, and it has like blue speckles. It's an amazing snake. So that's why I got these two. I hope that uh, I could produce some of those in the future and get them up on my website. They're just beautiful. And you know, again, I love that Palmetto Oka tea. I really hope I can produce some of those. And I also got this from Lee Abbott. These two right here. This is a Lava Milk Stream. Gorgeous snake. This is a, a male. I have the female at home. So I'm going to be breeding those when they get a little bit bigger. Got a lot of breeding projects coming up. I'm excited about it. And I have this Okatee. This is a female. I have a male at home that I also got from Lee Abbott at another show. So I'm going to be breeding her with uh, the male I have at home in the future. I mean, this is a gorgeous snake. The camera, the camera and the lighting don't do it justice. If you see it in person, it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Ward's World of Reptile Propagation. I see him at a couple of the shows here in South Florida. He's a really knowledgeable guy and uh, he has great stuff that you usually don't see. 
These are T positive Nelson. They're only a couple months old. Nice red with yellow, and it's like a gray band on. You can't, the camera can't really pick it up, but um, they're absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to breed those. I also got from from Ward uh, a female Mexican Black King because I have the male at home, so I'm going to be breeding some of those too. She's really pretty. I love the solid black color snakes. And last but not least, from Harden, Perps, I got a beautiful Brazilian rainbow ball. I've been wanting one of these for a while, and I do plan on breeding these in the future. This is a couple of months old, and if you put this in the sunlight, you'll see a sheen of blue and like rainbow colors. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, that's day one. Now, we're going to go back for day two, and uh, we're going to do some more recording of the expo, and uh, hopefully pick a couple more things up. So, stay tuned for the video. Alright guys, take care.